Hey, brothers and sisters, I want to talk about rightfully dividing the word of God. Now, you have a lot of different denominations. You have Baptist, you have Pentecost, you got Apostolic, you got um, Presbyterian, you got Calvinist, you got Jehovah's Witness. You have a lot of different factions, but this is the, the this is the device of the enemy. See, the enemy created religion to kind of keep everybody in the body of Christ separate and set apart. And the Bible, the truth is right there in front of you. And the reason why you cannot understand the truth because everybody's coming from their own perspective. Everybody's coming from their own experiences. God's been showing me lately, stop coming from your own experience just alone. You have to trust in His word alone. Let's go to the Bible. It says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out the mouth of God. Now, sit and think about that. If you're already coming from the perspective that the Bible is altered and it's man-made and man-written the Bible, we got to deal with the spirit. We got to deal with the attitude of how you're approaching the Bible. See what I'm saying? Because if you think that there's books missing from the Bible and the Bible's not perfect, there's missing books, there's more than 66, guess what? Your doctrine is going to be flawed. And your perspective, because you're in the wrong spirit, is going to be flawed because you're in the spirit of error. You're already coming from a place of unbelief. Now, there's something called dispensation, right? I don't know how to say this, this bear with me, but um, rightfully dividing the word of God. Brothers and sisters, you've got to know how to separate time periods. If the Bible is talking to a specific type of people, at a specific type of time. So a lot of times when Jesus Christ said a lot of parables, yes, they were referring to post-tribulation and rapture. You know what I'm saying? Same thing with Paul. Paul's teaching is geared towards the Gentiles. That would be the Christians. A lot of the apostles' teachings are geared towards the Jews. You got to know these things because if you don't, you're going to think that everything pertains to Christians. And this is why we have people that believe in just grace alone. And then you have people that believe in just works alone. And you have to have a balanced mindset to understand how the enemy is attacking the Christian community. How they're attacking the body of Christ. You have to see these things. You have to have that spirit of discernment. You feel what I'm saying? And we have to take the word of God literally. Not metaphorically. Not allegorically. Yes, you might have parables in the Bible. But the Bible should be taken literally. Do you understand? Good.